And all new tonight, a homeowner on Oahu's North Shore is offering to remove an illegal erosion barrier, but he wants more time. And that's not all he wants. Our Ben Gutierrez has the new developments on a story that continues to rile up the community. Ben? Both the city and the state threatened to find Josh Van Emmerich for his unpermitted erosion control structure. His attorneys now say he'll take it down, but they also want permission to replace it with another kind of barrier. Tomorrow was the city's deadline for Josh Van Emmerich to remove the concrete he poured on the berm behind his Kinui Road home or face prosecution. But Van Emmerich's lawyers asked for and were granted a 60-day extension after they told the state DLNR he would remove the erosion barrier by mid-December. The community has been pressuring him to take it down since early October. It was obviously a crazy thing to do. It's it's not even working, and I'm sure that's motivating him as well. I mean, Which, I understand probably why he did it, but uh, unfortunately, you know, the beach belongs to all of us. It's public trust, and you can't just be altering the beach because of your home. But Van Emmerich's offer to remove the concrete comes with a request. In this letter obtained by Hawaii News Now, Van Emmerich's attorneys asked the DLNR to approve an emergency barrier like a so-called sand burrito for one year after he takes down the wall. I found it to be very, very disappointing because it seems to be proposing a continuation of solutions that, that don't work. And also no real taking of responsibility for the really outrageous behavior of this landowner. There's been no decision yet from the land board, but in another case just down the coast, the board approved a settlement over an illegal seawall rebuilt five years ago on a Sunset Beach property belonging to James and Denise O'Shea. The O'Sheas will remove and dispose of the new seawall by December 31st, 2024. And the O'Shea's will be liable for a fine of $50,000 plus $2,500 in administrative fees. There's a whole bunch of these cases that are bubbling at different points, and we need to find a better solution than litigation. Ben Emmerich's attorneys declined to make any further comments on the letters. We're also awaiting word from the DLNR on what it plans to do with Van Emmerich's extension request. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.